Hello, it's Black Gallerina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tour of the sketchbook that I've been using for all of my Colour With Me series. I'm just about to go into my second year of my PhD so I wanted to film this as a way of reflecting on my first year. All that said and done, let's get started. This first page is basically just swatches of sets of alcohol markers that I bought. As you can see, I'm a big fan of the Uhuhu markers and I also have the Arteza skin tone markers. This video is not sponsored, but if you do like alcohol markers or want to get into colouring, I do suggest um, these markers and also suggest having a swatch page because it makes it easier to select colours. The first page is from my video about epistemicide and how it manifests in contemporary art galleries. For this video I drew um, a picture of Tichuba. Tichuba was an enslaved woman who was known for being one of the first people to be accused of practicing witchcraft during the Salem witch trials. I guess the connection here was knowledge and ticker knowledge from people of colour being subjugated and um, diminished by um, European ideology. The second page is from my video on cultural diversity versus cultural equity where I talked about how presenting diversity in an exhibition isn't the same as getting rid of structural racism. For this video I coloured in a picture of Nubia from the Wonder Woman comic series. In the comic, Nubia is Diana, aka Wonder Woman's black twin sister. The next page is a picture that isn't in the Colour With Me series. I was answering questions about decolonial theory and its use and misuse in academia. And I really like this image, so I made a postcard and a sticker. This next page is from the video for the promotion of the Gallery So White exhibition call out and where I needed to get participants. So if you don't know, the Gallery So White exhibition is an Instagram slash online exhibition which displays anonymous testimonies from people who have experienced or witnessed institutional racism while working in contemporary art galleries in England. If you haven't checked it out on Instagram, or on my website, I suggest you do, and I will add a link to the description box of this video. This next page is from my site Artist of Colour video, where I talk about the politics of citation and interpretive text in contemporary art galleries. For that video, I um, was inspired by a photograph I took of my friend Sabira for the promotion of their performance, Coffee and Cream. This Next page was for the video where I discussed the relationships between curatorial practices, world building and the preservation of whiteness. Um, in that video I focused on comparing and contrasting the ways in which racism is embedded and tackled in the gallery sector to how racism is um, embedded and tackled in the Dungeons and Dragons gaming community. For this video, I chose to colour in a character design idea I had um, for a tabletop role-playing game project which I was working on. This next image ended up being part of my scrapbook and chill video, the first one. Um, so it's not in a colour with me video, but in that video I was answering questions about the gallery, so white exhibition while doing some scrapbooking. This next page was for my video on racial capitalism in contemporary art galleries. This image I was inspired by a scene in Snow White where um, Snow White is dead and instead of burying her, the dwarves um, put her in a glass case to look at. Um, I thought it would be relevant to the topic of the discussion um, in relation to how the contemporary art world sometimes capitalises on black trauma um, and the exploitation of black artists. The 
this next page was for a video I did on the ways in which galleries and cultural institutions uphold the hostile environment and how these environments shape the experiences of people of colour working within these spaces. For this video I coloured in another character design I created for the tabletop game um, which I really liked because um, her character was all about taking care of other people um, from various communities. This next page was for my video about chromophobia, um, which is the, the fear of colour. In this video I talk about chromophobia's relationship to the white cube, and I was inspired by the Wizard of Oz, and generally films where the character goes from a monochrome environment to the colourful environment and what that represents. This next page was um, for a video about my trip to Meandering Networks Mapping Nations event which was hosted by the Black Curators Collective which I'm a member of at the Centre of Contemporary Art in Glasgow. This was particularly um, inspired by a doodle I did at the event because we had a really cool workshop which took place in the garden. For this next um, page um, this is the first time I decided to paint something and I was doing a video about the Barbican Stories book. Barbican Stories is a collection of first-hand and witnessed accounts of discrimination at the Barbican. Um, the image was inspired by a PC game which I used to play called Orly Draw Story which is the best game in the world. Last but not least, this page was for the video about coloniality and how it manifests in contemporary art culture in Britain. For this video I coloured in a tarot card I designed inspired by Princess Ignardi Nana who was a Babylonian princess who lived in 554 BCE who was a high priestess but also famous for being the curator of the world's first private museum. And that's what I've done so far. Well that's it for this video, if you found any of that interesting please make sure that you check out the link to the playlist of Colour With Me in the description box of this video. And if you enjoy videos like this and want to support my work, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching, take care and see you soon.